Hello friends, welcome back to Let's Teach Accountancy. Hi folks, well we hope you have an understanding about partnership firms and broadly how they do their accounting. We have previously also seen the entries on admission or retirement of a partner and how profit sharing ratios are calculated. And if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the updates regarding further uploads. Also, you can press the join button to become our prime member where you can get many benefits with online courses at very minimum prices. So do check that out and join us now. Do visit our website www.letstude.com to see our online courses at very affordable prices. So today, let's together try and apply all of this knowledge to prepare final statements of a partnership firm with the given information provided. Their trial balance along with some adjustments are given. Let's have a closer look at it. So to begin with, we need to prepare the basic format of trading, profit and loss account and balance sheet as we do even for a sole trading concern. But what is it that differentiates the partnership statements from that of a sole trader? As we can see, here there are some balances and adjustments relating to partner's capital account. So in this case, we also need to prepare a partner's capital account. And since we are also given the current account balances and the partners follow fixed capital method, we are also going to prepare partner's current account. So starting with the posting, this is the basic step that we are all familiar with. Trading related things go into the trading account, all expenses, debit side of profit and loss account, all the assets and the liabilities and all the other transactions related to partners except the capital will be adjusted through the current account. Here we have drawings which will be debited in the partner's current account. Now let's move on to the adjustments. There's closing stock, cost or market price, whichever is lower. So we record the lower price as per the principle of conservatism. Then we have interest on capital, which will go on the credit side of the current account. Also in the profit and loss account, debit side, since this is an expense for the firm. Similarly, interest on drawings. Now this will be an expense for the partners and income for the business. So it will come on this side and over here in the partner's current account. Then we have depreciation which will come here. Yeah. Now Jack withdraws goods for 500 for personal use. So additional drawings, again two effects, where do they go? That's right. Now comes the closing part. First we'll close which account? The trading account. This is the gross profit which will be transferred to profit and loss account. Then after totaling here we have the net profit. Now we can show the bifurcation of this profit between the partners. But how is this distributed in their profit sharing ratio? Yes, they share their profits equally. So that is 3650 each. This will also be shown in the partner's current account. So let's post it. Now we can close the partner's current account since all the transactions related to this is over. These are their balances which will now be transferred to the balance sheet. And the capital account balances will also go in balance sheet. So everything is done. Now it's time to tally our balance sheet. Totaling and tallied. We are done with this. Wasn't it easy? There was nothing very different. But let's add a little bit of twist to this. 
Now suppose on the last day of the financial year, Jack and Ted decide to admit a new partner in their business as they require more capital and manpower. So next day morning itself, the partners mutually agreed upon certain adjustments to be made. Now the first thing that needs to be done is calculate their new profit sharing ratio. Barney is admitted with one six share. So if the total share is one from that, subtracting Barney's share one sixth, we get five upon six as the remaining share which will then be divided amongst the old partners. So their new profit sharing ratio is five is to five is to two as shown here. And their sacrificing ratio is calculated as follows. We will need partners capital account, partners current account, cash account, and goodwill account. Also, revaluation account. First, the opening balances are transferred. Now, for these adjustments, when a new partner is admitted, we have to show the new partner's capital account and his share brought in if any. Here his share brought in is 15,000. So let's add his account and his share brought in. Then we have goodwill of which is again brought in as his share to compensate the old partners for their efforts. So this has to be distributed amongst the old partners in their sacrificing ratio which is 1 is to 1. Next revaluation of assets and liabilities is done. So we need to open a revaluation account. Land and building has been revalued. When asset value increases we add it to the asset in the balance sheet and we credit it in the revaluation account. We've already learned about that. Then plant and machinery, the value is decreasing. So debit revaluation account and deduct from the asset in the balance sheet. Then there are bad debts of 5% of the debtors. So again decrease in value. Therefore we debit revaluation account and subtract from debtors in the balance sheet. So this is done. Now we can do the closing process. First the revaluation account will be closed. Then the profit or loss on revaluation is transferred to the old partner's current account. Then we close the partner's current and capital accounts. Write the revised balances in the balance sheet. And we can tally this. So this is how we should go about when there is an admission of a partner. So we saw it wasn't really anything different. Once you know the base, this process is quite simple. With this, we've seen how to prepare the accounts for partnership. If you liked our session, do like, share and comment. And yes, don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get the updates for all our upcoming videos. Do visit our website www.letstude.com to see our online courses at very affordable prices. So see you in the next session. Till then, keep watching, keep learning. Thank you.